Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's gonna be a little different. We're back in the Cessna, but we're not gonna be doing Cessna-like things. Come on. Hmm. That'll be fine for now. So, I had this brilliant idea. Let's go do some aerobatics in a Cessna. Anybody else think it's a terrible idea? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get some altitude. And we are going to go... Do something. Who knows what? We'll find out. All right, we are up at 8,000 feet. Elevation was six, so we've got at least 2,000 feet. Nowhere near enough normally to do acrobatics, but honestly, I'm not sure we care at this point. So I'm going to throw us in altitude hold mode. All right, there's altitude hold. We're going to go full on power. Get how fast we get. We definitely have to watch the RPM. We do not want to lose that. 
but we don't want to let that get into the red line. Um, fuel flow is pretty high, but okay. Starting to get a little high in the RPMs. EGT is completely on the bottom, so I think that's a little broken. We've maxed out our RPM. There's a little more speed there. Trying to lean it out. Alright, let's go for it. Great, so now let's do it for speed. Keep our RPM basically as high as we can. Please, you want to pilot? Go away. As we can without overspeeding. At 8,000, we're going to do a pull. I don't know if we can make it all the way around, but we're going to try. Normally, I want to look out the window. Oh no. We're gonna... There's a spin. Hard part is the overspeed and the G's. <laughs> Went for the spin, got that hammerhead. <laughs> oh, it was a terrible hammerhead, but. <laughs> oh, this guy is so broken. They don't like when you do that, especially over an airport. <laughs> oh, we broke it. We broke it bad. Alright, maybe we should have started with something a little more simple. No, maybe a roll or something? Not the loop? I'd have to pull harder to get through the loop if I want to even try that again. Alright, back up to... we'll make it 10. Make it 10,000. Lost so much altitude in that. All right, nine thousand, close enough. Pitching down, going for a hundred and twenty knots. Actually, let's do a hundred. We'll be fine with a hundred. And again, watching those RPM. 100. Pitch up to roughly feet on the horizon. Roll. Ooh. He does not roll nicely. He rolls. I'm glad we didn't go too much higher. Too much faster. Alright, she does roll. Uh, I didn't look to see if we ever sped her, but we might have. Alright, we are going to need all the speed we can get, and we're going to try that loop again. But I want to try it from 10,000, and I also would like to try... Alright, we're going to head magnetic north. Try higher speed from 10,000. See where that goes. This is not the easiest thing that I've ever done. Loops in the Cessna are apparently quite hard. 
The other thing we're going to do is we're going to pull harder and do it faster. The hard part is going to be not overspeeding it at the end. We might actually have to throw it into a slip of some type just to keep it a little slower. Be able to get just a little more power. Nope. That's max. Alright, there's 10,000. We'll level off here. Gain some speed. We're going to turn south because south is a little bit more forgiving. Uh, the ground slopes down to the south. Whereas there are giant hills to the north. So south is safer. East might not be a bad option either. That keeps us close to Colorado Springs if we need, you know, gas, emergency landing, those kinds of things. We're actually pretty high. Our entry speed is going to be... We'll see where it starts to peter off, but I would like to do it roughly 140 to 160 range. Honestly, as much speed as we can get. Without overspeeding the prop. Or the engine. We are already a thousand away. Alright, can't go any faster. Pitching into our dive. Watching the power. I'm gonna pull it back pretty quick, wow. And we've lost a thousand of altitude. Alright, that's what we're gonna get. Pulling! Pull RPM, pull harder, or over the top, coming down, pulling the prop out, so we don't overspeed, <laughs> oh, we did a loop, that's really amusing, we did a loop and we lost no altitude, that sounds wrong, I feel like we lost at least a little. Nine thousand five hundred. Pitching down. As much. Nine thousand. Full prop. All the way over. Kind of in a stall. Pull the RPMs out. Holy crap, we came out at the same altitude! <laughs> oh, that's cool! Alright, this time, let's do the hammerhead on purpose. We're gonna go 120, pitch up. Oop, oversped the prop, that's not good. Looking out the window, looking for that 90, which is a little weird in a Cessna. Power out. Nope. He just nosed over. Oh boy. Let's recover that. Watch this prop. Climb. That was not our most glorious moment. We did not successfully come out of that one. I didn't go into the hammerhead fast enough, and I didn't pitch fast enough either. Those are both two pretty decently sized mistakes. It's so easy to recover in a Cessna though. I mean, it's a Cessna. Alright, we're at 92. Pushing over. 
Watching the RPM, looking for 130. One thirty, pulling. Got a power to keep it in. There's our ninety. Trying to keep it straight. We're in a tail still. Yeah, straightening out. Power out. Recovered. And because we have extra energy, throwing a loop for good measure too. Trying to get a flat one, but it's not easy. Well, it was much better than it was last time. All right, pulling back. I want to overdo it. I'm trying to keep it on the horizon. Well, we actually only lose a couple of degrees. That's really surprising. Um, I doubt we can do a cube and eight. We'll try it. We will definitely try it. I should look at that gauge a little more. We have to eight thousand, like at least nine. Well, it doesn't pretty level. It does take us about five hundred to a thousand to get our speed up, though. Therein lies our dilemma. Right, there's eighty-five. I think we can do it at eighty-five. Speed We're down for nine thousand. Watching the speed. Watching the RPM. And eight thousand pulling. Too hard, stalled it over the top. Not supposed to do that. Oof. He does not roll out very straight. Oversped the prop. And the engine. And into the second one. Way oversped the engine. Well, don't rely on me for your aerobatics. But if you want to get the engine back. Eh. Alright, and our nice in tight landing for the pattern. And we'll cut it there. We can make that right. Got the full 90, we got the rudder going. Pulling pretty hard. I'm not sure if we can make that, but we are sure going to try. Flaps, flaps, a little more flaps, all the flaps. <laughs> See if we can make it. She handles a little kind of wallowing piggy. They're descending at 1,200 feet a minute. Doing 45 knots. There's 50. I don't want 50. Well, I have to go down a thousand feet, so. I mean, it's controllable, just not the best thing we've ever done. I'm not sure it's the smartest thing we've ever done either. Increase the mixture. If we make it, it's not going to be by much. Give her a small little last turn. Air 
they're stalling it straight down into the runway. Think we can make it? Let's we'll come out of it real soon. Give it some power for your catch. <laughs> There's your final acrobatic trick for the day. <laughs> Going down at 1500 feet a minute and assessing it at 40 knots. And yeah, the instructor would not be happy. Alright, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed those little shenanigans of just butzing around in the Cessna. If you guys want to see more of the acrobatics, maybe I'll learn something, actually be able to, or I'll find somebody's acrobatics plan, and maybe we'll do that. And maybe we'll do it in some other aircraft. So, let me know if you guys like it, if you want to see some more acrobatics in airplanes that should not be doing acrobatics, including the big ones. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.